On December 13, 1836, the interior of the Fenis was destroyed by a terrible fire. But like the phoenix born from its ashes, the theater was once again rebuilt. Later, it would welcome the works of Verdi. Venice is like a huge store of decors and accessories, a gigantic trompe l'oeil, in the words of Nietzsche, the Olympus of illusion. Shapes and colors flaunt their insolent beauty. Everything seems close to sinking into an unreal world. The color of these palines are not arbitrarily chosen for their aesthetic appeal. It's a code which indicates which mooring belongs to which family. One hundred thousand inhabitants live in Venice or on one of its nearby islands. It's a privilege to live here in the heart of the largest pedestrian zone in the world. Thousands of Venetians were forced to leave their island and go live in Mestre, on solid ground, di là dall'acqua, on the other side of the water. 